we're trying something new now. Hopefully we'll be able to show you the magnificence of Thailand, the magnificence of nature, and teach you English at the same time through the experiences of travel in this beautiful country, Thailand. Welcome to Ifland English. Let's learn some English. The first distinctly different thing that we'd like to share with you in this episode is a relatively rare weather phenomenon. This is a sun shower. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but the sun is shining directly at us and the rain is falling at the same time. It makes an absolutely beautiful picture. A sun shower. The sun is shining and it's raining at the same time. The rain is falling between our room and the sun. It's just gorgeous. A sun shower is what we call a rainfall when it's sunny. That's because of the alignment of the sun and the clouds above us. A sun shower happens when the sun is shining and it is raining. So the clouds with the rain are directly above us, but the sun is not. See down here, people getting their umbrellas out, walking around in the rain while the sun is shining brightly. After the sun shower, we took a walk in the opposite direction to that which was our norm. This time we headed into town to search for restaurants other than the hotels. We found a plethora of spots with varied menus. But they didn't show the price. <laughs> oh no. No. Looks yum, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what are the prices like compared to a normal Thai restaurant like this elsewhere? Maybe 20 to 30 percent more expensive. That's not too bad. Yes, right, for the tourist area like this. And the menu looks varied. Yes, yeah, correct. There are lots and lots of different mm -hmm. dishes. Crab too. Crab and squid too. Ah, oh, squid. Squid for you. Okay, this is the Mali restaurant. That is a lot of food. Yeah. Come back later? Yeah. We didn't end up coming back later. You'll see why not. Wood fired pizza oven place. Yeah, that's good. Found something fun. Oh, that looks good. Looks what? Good. Yeah. Did I come back here to eat later? Oh. I guess so. so ask how, how late they're open. Okay, but then get home, can you? A pizza okay. cooked in a wood fire pizza oven seemed just right. That evening, we wanted to take advantage of the special light to take some snaps. The time after dawn and before sunset is known as the magic hour. Yudi tried to do some macro photography, which means taking pictures of relatively small things from a very close distance. The trick is to get the camera to change its focus so that the image is both very close and very clear. The first shot didn't turn out well, but there's a saying in English, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. If you fail once, do it again, it just might work the second time. The water fountains at this resort were unlike any others we had ever seen. Next, we headed to the beach to get some more interesting shots. Now, let's enjoy the magnificence of this view. Yeah, you're still tiny in the frame. I'm really close to you, you're tiny in the frame, but this is a really cool shot. The word zoom is often used with regard to changing the lens, but I was doing everything manually with this camera. I just walked closer to her. Next came the dolly shot, which is normally done with a tram on rails for the camera. However, with this camera, all I had to do was walk alongside Yudi. This was a low-budget shoot. For contrast, and so that you can see the difference between shooting from different angles and lighting conditions, we shot the same scene from the opposite angle. Notice how much brighter the picture is. This is because the light from the setting sun is bouncing back off the subject, in this case, Teacher Yudi. 
and entering the lens of the camera. This is our showing out holiday. Watching these people launch their kayak into the water inspired us to do the same. We'll share more about that in our next episode. As for this evening, we were thwarted by oncoming weather conditions, so we had to head back. We wish we could spend a longer time here. Unfortunately, it is raining. Can you hear the storm? Show them the sky a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely raining now. Well, where are we going? We were going to go kayaking, but now it's started to rain pretty hard. And who knows, lightning might come soon. So we're going to be safe, go inside, or possibly go to the pizzeria. Yay! We're going to go to one of the wood-fired oven pizzerias. There are at least three in this area. With the GoPro Hero 10, we can film in the rain and not have to worry about our equipment. We know that the GoPro Hero 10 is waterproof to 10 meters, so when it rains like this, we don't have to worry too much about the rain getting in the camera. But what we do have to worry about is lightning on the beach. Okay. We're getting off the beach. <laughs> yes, right, we should. Cleaning your feet of sand is very important before you go inside. If you don't, the sand will dry to your skin and then come off in your hotel room and soon that sand gets everywhere. My dear, is it raining or is this how we just eat here? Oh, uh, maybe. Oh. We are here at Ramada restaurant. We have to change our plans because it's raining on the beach. We were going to take a long walk on the beach and then go to a wood-fired pizzeria. But now, because it's raining, we were driven in to the closest restaurant. We've both ordered some seafood. We're looking forward to it. I have ordered chili fried salt shrimp. Looking forward to that. Thank you very much. Okay. And the dish I ordered was deep fried fish. The waiter has just come with three things. We have a virgin pina colada each and a bowl of fresh peanuts. Cheers! Cheers! Something. I'm about to try my virgin colada, which is basically a pina colada without any alcohol. Neither of us drink alcohol, so we always get virgin cocktails. Here we go. How is it? Oh, it is delicious. Very rich in flavor. The pineapple juice is fresh. The coconut juice they use here is fresh coconut water. So they'll chop the top off of a fresh coconut and then take the water and pour it directly into the drink. Using fresh coconut water like this provides a flavor that you just cannot get from canned or cartoned or bottled coconut water. It's just delicious. Very deep and rich with flavor. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be hard not to drink that before our food comes. Right. That's why I have to stop before. <laughs> now we're going to try the peanuts. Looks like there's a lot of salt in that. Mm. Have to eat a little bit more salt than normal if you sweat a lot. And because we're in the hot sun quite often during the day, we're losing a lot of salt through our sweat, so we have to replenish that salt by eating slightly salty food. All right, the All right. food has arrived. We're very excited. We're going to tilt the camera a little bit so that I you can, can see this. this Lovely. That Luca is the deep fried fish. No. The size is quite big. Yeah, it's huge. Normally, the way Thais eat is to share several dishes. And each person here, you can see each of us has a plate of rice. Oh, and this piece is boneless too. It looks pretty crispy. Mm, it sure does. And, and this is Rob's dish. <laughs> that looks wonderful. That's the deep fried shrimp or deep fried chili salt shrimp. I think that's what they call it. Okay. I'm looking forward to eating Ooh, that as well. All okay, right. it's time to eat. Time to eat. I have to be a little bit careful because this shrimp still has the shell on it. But look at the size of that shrimp. I am so excited to eat this fish. However, it is still so hot. I cannot. <laughs> My mouth is watering already. 
Wow. I forgot to show you the Thai salad. Look at that. We call it yam mam muang. Oh, that's yam mam muang. Yes, right? So that mango. Mango salad. Yeah, yam is the word for salad. And mam muang is mango. Oh, 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 this all looks so good. So I think we're going to tune out for a while now and enjoy our food. Tuning back in now because this food is so delicious and I wanted to share something that's new for me. Even though teacher Yudi has not finished her meal yet, I'm going to give you my review of my dish simply because I don't want the waiter to come take the plate away before I do this review. This has been a delicious meal. I have eaten all of the shrimp. These are all the shells here. And I even took the heads and sucked the juice out of the heads. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. The fish is absolutely delicious, mm -hmm. right? It's uh, totally boneless. Totally boneless mm -hmm. and delicious and fresh and crispy. I had to help her eat <laughs> half of it because she couldn't eat it all. That's how big it was. And the shrimp, the flavor was amazing. The sucking the juice out of the heads is the first time for me. It was quite amazing as well. See you next time. See you next time. See you around. <laughs>